Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Okay, quite a short video this time, uh, by my standards anyway. And uh, what it is, is I'm fitting an extension SD card reader to my Creality CR6 SE printer. The reason being is that if you want to update the firmware, whether you update to uh, the stock Creality firmware or the community firmware, which I thoroughly recommend and have done another video on exactly how to do that step by step. If you click on the, the link above, you'll, uh, you'll see that. If you want to do that, it comes in two parts, one for the printer, one for the screen. And you need to put it on or, or as that two part update. So you need to insert your full size SD card in the printer and update that. And also one in the screen to update the firmware for the screen. Now inside the screen, once you take it apart, there is a little micro SD card reader in there. So every time you want to update the firmware, you've got to do that, take your screen off and put it in. It doesn't take long. There's only two screws on the front and four at the back. But and if, if you're only updating the firmware once in a blue moon, that's fine. But this community firmware does seem to be updated um, quite frequently, which is brilliant. Uh, the gang who are doing that, big thanks to them. They, they seem to be totally on top of it and they, they keep updating it, bringing better and better features out each time. So I thought if I'm going to be doing that regularly to save me taking all the screen apart and then doing it every time, I'll fit an external reader where you can just plug the card in and it's a full size SD card. It, it converts the micro port inside to a full size port. So I can use the same card both sides without taking the screen off. It's dead, dead easy to fit. I, you knew, I normally have it when I'm doing these demos here in my hand as I, I start to do the video before I fitted it, but I actually fitted this before I decided I'd even do this video. So it's already been fitted a, a while now. So this is the one I used on, um, you can see it here on Amazon. It's uh, there's various makes, Lanmu is this one. All the, uh, it's here. fortunately, all these descriptions seem to be, as you can see in German, but basically it's just um, an extension lead. You can see it there. The bit on the right hand side plugs in inside to the socket on the, the back of the screen. And then you stick the uh, the other, the wide end, the full size SD card reader in a convenient place on your printer. So that's the one I chose. And it gets like four, you know, good ratings and uh, it's it's proved it's worth the last update i did i used that so yeah that's uh, the one i chose off amazon so uh, let's get straight over to the printer now and i'll show you how i fit it so to fit the sd card reader you obviously have to take the screen off so it's just these two screws here at the front remove that so we'll, we'll remove them now and then just pull that socket out from the top and remove the four screws at each corner you can see there and to get the blade on the end that goes in the micro SD card holder there so the blade on the end of this new extension cable is quite long so you can't get it in without taking this off but it's only held on as you see by this front sticker so just where my fingers are there trying to hold the camera with one hand while doing this uh, demo with the other but as you can see that tape that sticky tape is all that's holding the screen in it's just the back with the four screws holds it in but once they're out all that's holding it in is that tape so if you find you can't pull it forward like you can see it's loose now it's just that piece of tape there where my fingers are so just sort of like peel that off the screen and you can uh, can then pull this forward and plug the extension cable in once you've done that put all the screws back mount it wherever you like easily accessible i've put it there with some strong VHB tape. So anything really strong like that. And you'll find to clear 
this cable bit here you will have to cut a gap out of the plastic case there you can see that gap there I just cut that out either use a, a Dremel or a, a hot knife or something like that it's just a matter of taking that little bit out it's quite brittle this plastic so you could just sort of like do two sort of hacksaw cuts down there and then just break that piece away but you will need that just to clear this tape and then it's just a matter of putting it all back together and uh, keeping this coiled up gently like that I'll just show you in in position now so there it is in position with the back screwed back on ready to uh, reattached to the printer. So if you look under here you can see the ribbon cable is nicely coiled round with no tight folds so don't tight fold it tight and maybe break a one of the delicate in, inside wires coil it round quite gently like that and just hold it with a bit of sellotape or something and you can see the socket there is on the side full-size SD card socket so that's it all back in position just make sure the tape is all pushed down around the edge just helps stop any dust going in I'll put my uh, cosmetic cover purely cosmetic that just makes it a bit of bling makes it look better and as you can see it now you can just put a standard size SD card for updating the screen. The community software seems to be uh, getting released quite frequently, which is great. So it just saves having to take the screen off every time. I can just put the same standard size, full size SD card that I use for updating the, the machine on the left hand side use it for the screen here a useful upgrade that you can use for other things as well obviously is a decent set of allen keys or hex keys or whatever you want to call them the ones you get these here they're not that great quality uh, they're just standard ones but these made in the USA Bundus very rare to find something not made in China but there you go made in the USA a proper good quality set with a ball end and you can see they've got a really stubby end on them really short end of that end much shorter than that which makes them really handy for getting under the bed they're dead handy for that so uh, I'll put a link to them in the description of this video as well but uh, I recommend a good set of allen keys because you might be taking it apart doing various things and uh, there's quite a lot of nuts all over so uh, so that's it that's the fitting of the SD card reader um, if you're interested in all these other add-on parts I've printed uh, just see me other video for them so there you have it at uh, just under six bucks six uh, pounds a worthwhile addition I think for your 3d printer and it'll make things a lot easier in the future when you want to want to upgrade the firmware and uh, as you saw in the description of the fitting uh, that set of allen keys hex keys I bought I do recommend getting yourself a, a better set that than come with the printer. Proper hardened steel set, something like that, as you will be using them quite often. There's loads of screws around the printer that always need checking and tightening up. And it's handy, like I say, with them little tiny stub ends for getting right under the bed while you're adjusting the, uh, the eccentric nut and stuff like that. So I'll put a link below uh, for them as well. So... I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been of some use if you're thinking of doing the same thing. I've loads more 3D 
printer relevant stuff to the CR6 SE in the pipeline. I've been asked to do one on all the add-on prints I've done for the machine itself, like the fan shroud and the cable supports and stuff like that. So I will be doing that. That's in the pipeline. That'll be coming very, very shortly. Along with all my usual reviews on tools and gadgets and anything else that, that takes me fancy like that. Thanks for watching. If you do want to subscribe, please click the little shed icon here. The more subscribers I can get, the better. And uh, that'd be great if you could do that. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.